Hi everyone, my name is Ella, a customer engineer here at Google Cloud. And I'm Rafael, also a customer engineer at Google Cloud. Welcome back to the Technical Guides for Startups, a video series where we help startups to start, build, and grow their businesses successfully and sustainably on Google Cloud Platform. In the previous video, we talked about architecting a retail startup on Google Cloud and how to solve for retail using Recommendations AI. Today, we will be covering GKE Enterprise, what it is, its use cases, and some of the key features that we love. Today, we will be covering what Google Cloud's GKE Enterprise is, why you should be using GKE Enterprise, we'll give you an introduction on GKE Enterprise Service Mesh and Config Management, how to migrate VMs and containers to GKE Enterprise, and why GCP and GKE Enterprise are leading the app modernization path. And lastly, we'll show you how this all looks like on the GCP console. With the GKE Enterprise Edition, we bring the best of GKE and Anthos into an integrated and intuitive platform. GKE Enterprise makes it faster and easier for distributed enterprise teams of any skill level to run their business critical workloads at scale and lower TCO. We're adding the hybrid and multi-cloud security and governance of Anthos that let our customers manage Kubernetes environments consistently anywhere into a new enterprise tier for GKE. Our unified UI combining the best of GKE and Anthos is making it faster and easier for distributed enterprise teams to get just a access to just the right environment for each app and workload with new multi-team and multi-cluster fleet management. GKE Enterprise helps enterprise platform teams offer their developers and app owners Kubernetes clusters that are configured and secured. So developers with less Kubernetes expertise can deliver new and improved apps faster. Let's talk about GKE Enterprise's key capabilities. You can scale easier with our multi-team management, with fleet-based multi-cluster management and fleet-based multi-team management. You can securely run enterprise workloads anywhere with GitOps for automation and governance with applying policies to clusters, security as you can use federated identity for access control and use an in-cluster service mesh to secure traffic among services. Lastly, you can save with a managed container platform as you can run anywhere consistently with our leading OSS components managed by Google and our unified operation console for visibility across fleets. Now let's talk about Service Mesh. Service Mesh separates applications from app networking. It manages the flow of traffic into, out of, and within your services. Service Mesh decouples operation from development. It secures access and communications between services in a policy-driven way. Lastly, Service Mesh provides a consistent framework, a complete visibility into everything happening with your services with minimal instrumentation. As companies expand the number of development and production clusters that they use, creating and enforcing consistent configurations and security policies across a growing environment is difficult and creates friction. That is where Config Sync and the Policy Controller come in. Config Sync is a GitOps-driven config management, which allows you to have your app developers focus on the application logic, have your application code and your policies managed using GitOps, 
and allows you to integrate into existing CI CD pipelines. The policy controller gives you a lot of out of the box policies to help you with governance and keeping up with best practices. Some of the benefits of using config management are Config management allows you to define and deploy configurations across environments without starting from scratch, simplifying cluster management. With GKE Enterprise Config Management, you are able to have a version control auditable system for configuring all of your clusters. This creates consistency at scale. Using Config Management, you can create security policies that are deployed and compliant across environments, starting from development all the way into production. Another great thing that we have at our disposal is Migrate to Containers. It allows us to migrate VMs from any environment into containers, greatly lowering the complexity of containerizing your applications. These VMs can be on-premise or on other public clouds. Once migrated into containers in GKE, you will be able to manage this just as you do any other container. There are many reasons why you should consider GKE Enterprise for your app modernization journey. Some of which we have already mentioned, it can allow us to achieve consistency, security, and connectivity at scale using a single unified multi-cluster management UI. It can be compatible with legacy workloads and it's primed for new ones. It lives in the Google Cloud ecosystem, which means that Google Cloud's at your fingertips and Google's promise for continuous improvement and innovation. Hello everyone, and welcome to this walkthrough demo of Google Kubernetes Engine Enterprise. If you're managing multiple Kubernetes clusters across different environments, Google Kubernetes Engine Enterprise is the tool that Google offers and designed to dramatically simplify your operations. Let's dive in. First, we'll be going to the Clusters tab. Here you'll see that we have a list of all the clusters that are currently running. All of the clusters are running diagnostics. You'll also notice that some of them are showing notifications, which Google Kubernetes Engine Enterprise does to help you proactively address potential issues. Now that we've talked about individual clusters, let's go back to our overview. Within the overview, we're able to highlight what we call fleet-based management. Here, we're able to group clusters logically and apply policies or configurations at scale. So no longer will we have to do cluster by cluster management. Fleets also supercharge our compliance and help us detect configuration issues and remediate them. Here, you'll see that the policies are being analyzed on a cluster level. This helps us identify violations and filter through quickly, so we can continue to improve operations. As organizations grow, our demand for clusters may also grow. This is where we would love to have a GitOps-based workflow which is exactly what Google Kubernetes Engine Enterprise does. What are the benefits of a GitOps workflow? It allows us to track all of our configuration changes in a repository style application, which is familiar to many developers. Along with that, another feature that we have within Google Kubernetes Engine Enterprise is the security posture analysis. This is a fleet level analysis where we can identify vulnerabilities and increase the safety of our applications. This analysis also tells us how critical these vulnerabilities are, which helps us prioritize and make changes as we go. Lastly, we'll be talking a little bit about service mesh. Service Mesh is an essential tool for managing microservices. We can define fine-grained communication policies, control traffic 
for testing and implement a zero trust security at the service level. The service mesh gives you the opportunity to understand how the communications in between each one of your services goes and it gives you the granularity to alert the right stakeholders if the services are not running correctly so it won't send notifications to everybody you can also split traffic to make testing very easy and simple for new features which by redirecting a smaller amount of your traffic you can see how these changes perform and roll it back easily and without any issues that concludes our overview of google kubernetes engine enterprise thank you very much want to find out more learn more about gke enterprise and our kubernetes leadership start using the next evolution of kubernetes from google cloud now build your own fleet of containers and then subscribe to this youtube channel to learn more about how you can use google cloud with your startup up next in our technical guides for startup series we'll be talking about architecting a healthcare and life sciences startup with google cloud so stay tuned